Enjoy the great outdoors with the all new Stow It Panorama Light Garage Screen. This easy to install golf cart garage screen is perfect for the single bay garage. When ordering your garage screen, measure the opening from the top to bottom on both the left and right sides. Then from the left to right at the top, middle and bottom of the opening. When your pan light single bay garage screen arrives, carefully remove the materials from the box. Use scissors or a box cutter to open the tape and foam, being careful not to cut the screen as you cut the packaging open. Inside, you will find the screen housing, rails, and a hardware package containing the fasteners and other hardware needed for mounting and assembling your screen. Here are the tools you will need to install the screen. A four inch or longer Phillips screwdriver or bit, a drill and assorted bits, a level, measuring tape, aluminum cutting chop saw or hacksaw, a pencil, and a ladder. Begin the installation by positioning the screen housing above the opening flat against the house, making sure the housing is centered with equal amounts of overhang on each side. Before securing the housing, make sure it is level. Next, secure one end of the housing by inserting the one inch tech screw through the mounting hole in the end cap. Next, making sure the housing is level, secure the other end. Test the screen at this point by gently pulling it to ensure it's secure and the screen moves freely. To install the side rails, insert the black plastic rail guide, then measure the distance from underneath the rail guide to the ground on both sides of the opening. Now, transfer the measurements to the rails and cut the excess off, making sure to cut off the end width out the mounting hole. Now, slide the end of each rail into the pull bar end cap and under the housing cap flange. Be sure the snaps feed into the C-shaped channel of the rail. Adjust the rails in or out as needed by pulling the crossbar down as you secure. The rails are secure using the number eight by three quarters tech screws. After both rails have been secured, move the crossbar up and down. It should move freely. If it doesn't move freely, loosen the rail, screws, and adjust the rails in and out as needed, then re-tighten the screws. Use the number eight one and a half pan head screws to attach the handle to the front and back of the crossbar. Next, install the strike plates. Place the strike plates on the magnets which are pre-installed in the bottom of the crossbar. Now, with the strike plates in place on the magnets, close the panorama light screen and mark the location of the holes where the strike plates meet the concrete or decking. Pre-drill holes and use the number eight by one inch flat head screws to attach the strike plates to the cement or decking. When attaching into the concrete, a plastic anchor is recommended. To install the rubber bumpers, first, clean the surface of the crossbar. Then, take the clear rubber bumper from the plastic and place one on the left and right. Next, insert the color matched plugs included in the hardware kit to cover the screw heads in the housing. Now, you have installed the Panlight Single Bay Garage Screen. For more information, go to stowit.com.